Hey guys, Mama Unicorn here. Today we got some Zuru Oosh Potion Slime Surprise. Look, there's eight different magic potions to collect. There's Sweetness Serum, Deep Sea Elixir, Enchanting Potion, Sea Treasure Tonic, Endless Energy Tonic, Light as a Cloud Serum, BFF's Elixir, and Wild Dreams Potion. And I've noticed this little hanging tag right here it says Deep Sea Elixir on one side and Light as a Cloud Serum on the other. So I'm guessing those are the two that you get that it tells on the tags maybe which ones that you're getting so that you don't get multiples of the same ones. So let's open this up and get started. Right. So, let's see. I guess we have to take this plastic off of it first. Okay. Uh, oh, there's more plastic on it. So it's double layered. Let's see if we can get it off better this time. No. I always have that problem with stuff. Okay. Now, maybe we can open it. Maybe. Oh, there it comes. And look, guys. We even get a magic wand with it. Woo -woo. So, oh, this is liquid stuff. So this is our seashell spell activator. Here's one of our little bottles. Here is our sweet seashells liquid glitter. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a unicorn magic dust another little bottle okay what else do we have okay we got some magic mermaid surprise beads same thing Magic Unicorn Surprise Sparkles. Ooh, I'm so excited for that one. Magic Unicorn Surprise Sparkles. And same thing there. We have some instructions. And some more Magic Mermaid Surprise Beads. So we got a mermaid side here. And a unicorn side here. So I'm going to save the best for last and do the unicorn last. And we will do made one first okay so first we add our sweet seashells liquid glitter seashell spell activator mix the liquid glitter and the spell activator and wait three to five minutes for the elixir to shine while you repeat this magic rhyme scattering of confidence dash of mystery adventure sparkles a touch of mystery and a scattering of confidence is all you need if a deep sea adventure you want to lead Okay, so, so we don't mix the water in with the mermaid one. We do the, let's see, the liquid glitter. And then the seashell spill activator. So, we will use this for a mixing bowl. Ooh, it's blue. Yeah, it has a little bluish tint. I didn't know if it's clear and just looking blue from the bowl, but it has a little bluish tint. And who doesn't love to make potions? I know when I was a kid, that's something I always wanted to do, was make a potion. Whether I was playing in the mud or having a bubble bath and making potions during that, 
I was always making potions as a kid. We all do it. Just admit it. Okay, so that is empty. Next, we take the seashell spill activator and we pour it in and it opens up right here at the top. Ooh, that was very liquidy. I almost missed the bowl, people. Alrighty. And then we take our magic wand and we stir it up. And it says to wait three to five minutes for it to shine after you mix it. So I will get this mixed up and we'll come back in five minutes. Okay guys, so it's been about five minutes and there's a little bit of liquid. I mixed and mixed and mixed, so I don't know if that liquid was supposed to be left there and this other stuff absorbs it or what. So I will go ahead and put this stuff in and then if it's still liquidy, we can just dump that off. No big deal. So first we are going to add Magic Mermaid Surprise Beads. So let's see what these look like. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, look at that. It's like little pearls and they're different colors. We got silver and pink and purple and some blue on them. My favorite colors. So we'll drop those in and make some potion. And now we have some mermaid magic surprise beads and these feel a whole lot smaller than those others. So I don't know what's inside. We have, ooh, look, what is it? Little stars, little holographic stars. Look how shiny. I think they're stars. Yeah, they're like little stars. Oh, so shiny. So we'll add those. And they're all over me. And for our last one, some more magic beads. What do we have in this? Ooh, I think it's blue glitter. Yeah. Oh, it's a little seashells. Yep, it's some little seashells. So we'll put that in. Oh, there was more in there. <laughs> it didn't look like there was many. So look, guys, before I mix it, look how sparkly. So now we'll take our magic wand and we'll mix it all up. And have some potion, some mermaid potion. Let's mix it with hands. Oh, my beads are falling out. Yeah, it's a little wet. I should have dumped that water off of it. I don't know why it turned out wet. I did not put any extra water in that. I like the feel of the slime, even though it is slimy and kind of gooey. And my stuff's falling out, but it's fun. All right, let's lay it on the table. Guys, I love putting stuff like this in slime, but it just never wants to stay. Yeah, it always falls out even though it makes it pretty. <gasps> yep, that's better now. See, it's not falling apart like it had been when it was wet. So it's a whole lot better. <gasps> I like it. And look how shiny, people. It's super duper shiny. And you got those seashells in it and all them little stars. And of course the beads that won't stay. That is so fun. Ah! <laughs> These beads do not want to be in the potion. Alright, so this container opens 
at the bottom and you put your slime in through there no not your slime your potion i'm so sorry you put your potion in there and all the little stray beads and seashells that came out of it they go as well and then you just pop the bottom back on and there you go so that one was deep sea elixir with the mermaid one and look how pretty that turned out guys so our next one is the unicorn how lucky that i got the unicorn one so this one we actually mix water in with the unicorn magic dust it says to fill the marked line with clear water is a must then stir in the magic dust wait three to five minutes for the slime to adjust repeat this rhyme while you smile stir in slime so there's the line so when you feel that water and yes there's still some stars on there or in the mermaid potion i couldn't get them all out so i don't think it's going to hurt anything though but stuff like this it gets everywhere and then you live with it for the rest of your life like glitter okay so i filled it up to the line with the water and then we take our unicorn magic dust and this one has to be cut open is a powder. Oh, there's some chunks of it. Let's make sure that we get it all out. We don't want to ruin our magic potion recipe. So, We stir it in and wait three to five minutes again. So let's stir it. Yeah, it's starting to look like melted of ice cream. And it's chunky. So let's stir that up good. Okay, now we're going to give it five minutes and we'll see what we got when we come back. And look guys, we're back and it kind of looks like middle ice cream. It feels kind of slimy. So, but there's what it looks like after five minutes. So, we will add our magic unicorns to surprise, surprise sparkles. I can't speak today. So, let's see what these look like. Ooh, it's little multicolored, tiny little beads. So, dump those in. That's going to add a dash of color. And this is something maybe similar to the little seashells from the other. Let's see. Oh, it's orange. What is it? Little orange. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Little orange round thingies. We'll dump it into the potion. What the potion recipe calls for, the potion gets. Now, here is our last bag. Oh, little multicolored little dots. So you see those? And now 
we give it a stir with our wand and we mix it all together. Oh, this is a little bit more thicker than the other one. Let's take it out. And stuff's falling. And we got a seashell in it. Oh, well. Oh. I like the feel of it. I like the feel of both of them. But this one don't have the big hard beads. That was in this one that's falling out. But I really like the colors in that one. But this one's just as colorful. Almost reminds me of birthday cake. And stuff's falling out now. And there's a close-up of it. And it's got a good stretch to it. You can poke it. Well, both of these feel different. I don't know which one I really like the best how they feel. They're both good in their own way though. But these were fun to make. And I want to say thank you to Zuru for sending these. I had so much fun. Yay! <laughs> so here's the slime. And it, we're losing some of our potion ingredients out of it. But let's put this in the bottle. So we stuff it in there. Oh! <laughs> We're getting some unicorn toots. Maybe that's what this potion's for. To make some unicorn farts. Okay. So, there's what that one looks like. Yeah, these are cute. They're fun to make. And I want to say thank you to Zuru for sending me these. I had so much fun with them. These were awesome. And big news. If you guys don't know, I'm now on Instagram. If you want to follow me on there, I'll leave a link in the description below, and I hope to see you there. And that's it for today's video. I hope to see you back here next time. Bye, guys.